What's up, YouTube? It's Torhan coming at you another episode of our survival let's play. Um, recently, we finished the brewing room and and stuff, but I've actually changed it, and I I added a little automation. I've also moved the farm, but I wanted to show you guys how this works. Let's see. So, first of all. This chest has water bottles, which goes into this item hopper, which goes into the brewing stand. If I take out a water bottle, it instantly gets replaced. This up here sends ingredients in the correct order into this with the press of a button. This is the night vision potion stand. As you can see, nether wart goes in there. Next to be the carrot and then the redstone. This is simply controlled back here. Um, all it is is you have three droppers, some redstone goes into those uh, these hoppers, push it into the stand, you have a chest in the middle, and then another hopper on top of that, just to filter the items, and that's all it is. And of course some redstone to get it all over here. And carrots going through now. And now the redstone to make it extended. If I wanted to, I could add a fourth one, and that would be the um, gunpowder to make it splash. But since I really don't need a splash potion of uh, night potion for my for me, this is it. And then we take these out, and they get replaced with new ones, so we can start all over. And then, of course, this is just the original where I can brew whatever I want. Um, but this right here is my setup for automatically brewing these. When I do a bigger room, I plan to have automatic setups for the major potions I use. And then the rest of them, since I don't use them very often, I will just have a simple stand setup where I can make them. Now, let's go check out what I've done with the farming situation. So I decided to put it all down here. And so I made the, uh, I fixed the roof ceiling in here. So that it uh, is uniform on both sides. Made it look better. As you can see, I added some lights to the floor down there in the middle. Just, you know, a little pattern. This will auto harvest and put it in here for me. It's set up with, um, back here, if that grows to be the maximum height, which is three, it hits the bud switch. The bud switch then says, oh, hey, let's, and then it does the little thing on the walls, which, let me make sure this is silk touch. And basically it, either side can do it. Um, it's uh, basically an update, a block update detector. If that block updates, it fires this, which fires the double pistons on each side, and then that in turn harvests the uh, sugar cane for us. As you can see, it's already harvested some that I haven't, the stuff that I haven't put in here yet. So we'll come back to this later and see how much we've actually harvested since I started recording. Over here, this is the nether wart farm. Basically, uh, it pushes it into these and then these funnel it into the chest. Uh, we have to push up a button. As you can see, I've already been pretty successful over here. This, basically, you just walk in. It does that for us. And then we walk out, it hits it again and pushes it back down. And this is how I get my melons and my pumpkins. Over here, this is, I'm not going to do this one, but basically you can see the dispensers. It pushes everything out to here and all I do is run down, collect it all, throw it on the chest, and then replant. 
And this gives me 60, at least 64 at a minimum of each. And I normally get more than that because, as you can see, I have quite a bit of each of these. But since we're going to go to the storage room real quick, I'll go throw some of these away. Or not throw them away, but... Um, at least uh, clean that out a bit. But yeah, that's the that's the new room for the new farming area. I wanted to make something that was I could do everything all in the same area, but I can automate some of it and make it a little easier for other bits and pieces of it. And that the setup I have down there seems to work fairly well. I'm thinking there might be an, a way to automate the sugar cane better. Um, but I haven't really messed with it yet to figure out if there is or not. Carrots. No, that's not a carrot. And, you know, I need to go cook me some potatoes. I think three stacks will be plenty. Not oh, this one. Let's put those in there. Um, seeds. And then wheat. And that would be all. Oh, I need to put the stone and the iron ingots away. And stone. Yeah, I just basically decided I wanted to set up a, a better, um, a better farm area, and that's pretty much what I came up with. I mean, I don't get a lot of reeds. I'm only getting 16 reeds, so times I'm getting 32 reeds per harvest. Which, I mean, it's not too bad. Every couple, if I do two full harvests, that's a full stack. Um, I'm getting eight pumpkins, eight melons on a full harvest. I'm getting at least uh, 128 nether wart. So I'll never run out of nether wart because it's 64 on each side. And then over here, those are at least 64 of each one of these. So, I mean, it's it's not a bad setup. It works pretty well. I ain't got any complaints. So all there is is basically there's wire that runs back this way and then over towards those. Basically just to power the, uh, the dispensers to let the water bucket out. So but this is what I've been working on. This is taking me quite a while to do. Um, but I did get the room cleaned up. It has a purpose now. I like the way it looks. I think it looks nice and clean. Oh yeah, I did notice this earlier. And if I want to take this out, I need to be able to replace the bricks I'm taking out. So... I'll worry about the uh, the coal later. I have plenty of that right now. Um, but I'm not sure what I'm going to do over here yet. Uh, there's a nice area here. I might either close it up or I might do something with it. This does lead into this farm a bit. So I might just close it up instead of doing anything with it. Just put the wall and put a wall and call it good. Uh, but I could do something back this way. It's actually decent and it's away from everything. So I haven't decided yet. Um, I do know that I need to clean out the other farm. Uh, I haven't cleaned it out yet. Uh, nope. 
Yeah, we'll just throw that in there. Because uh, this farm is still good. I haven't cleaned it out yet. Because I was busy working on the other farm. Can't remember why I put glass down here. Oh hey. Um That was fun. Yay for glass. Uh, but basically what I'm going to do here is clean up this room. And I might raise the ceiling a bit. Or leave it. I'm not sure yet. Because I want to turn this room probably into the uh, my bedroom for my... Uh, let's put my bed. And a few other things. I haven't really quite decided entirely what I want to do with it yet. I might not even do that. I might leave the bed where it's at, actually, and turn this into something else. I have not yet decided um, what I feel like doing with it. I am open to suggestions, so if you guys have any ideas what I should do, you know, let me know. Gotta love that. But then it takes forever on these. So does that. So does that. So it doesn't matter what you use on the melons. It doesn't. Nothing speeds it up. But luckily this has silk touch, so I can just pick up the melons and not worry about breaking them. And grow that. I do need to get some cobblestone or some stone to fill this in. And probably get some stone bricks to de to change the way it looks, maybe or yeah. So I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with this. I might take it down one level, so when you walk in, it goes down a level, just to give it a little more height. Because right now it's I guess four blocks high is still pretty good. It's not too bad actually. I might just leave it and just make it look a little bit better. Maybe some flowing lava in a bed or something. I'm not quite sure yet. Something clever. That's what I want to do. Um, so anyways, uh, while I'm working on filling in the room and getting it repaired, I'm going to go ahead and uh, let you guys... Uh, I'm not going to put you guys through the torture of me doing that. Instead, I will uh, go ahead and cut here and I will be back with you guys momentarily. Talk to you guys in a minute. And I'm back, you guys. And as you can see, the bed and the chests have been moved. And I will show you the final result from the room. And... Ta-da! This is the end result. I did a little design pattern on the floor. Give it some character. to care of the walls. I could have made the room more circular-ish. If I wanted to add to these corners and spread them out, which I still might do, um, maybe if I don't want the squareness of the room. But for now, I did this. Um, and the pearls. Um, I could still smelt things if I need to here or craft stuff in this room without having to run away. But I like it. It's a little big for just a single bed, but I can do more stuff with it later if I want. Um, it's just it got it out of this tiny little hole here. And I'm thinking I might take this back up this way for somewhere. Maybe, maybe I can bring the entrance over this way. and then down through the middle here and then I can close off this side here like I have this side here closed off and then just have this side and this side open I actually might do that 
So, I'm thinking that, that might be a good idea. And I want to build a new brewing room where I can expand on this. And actually do more than that. Um, I may move this since I do have another enchanting downstairs or I may leave it here just for the quick access. Or I may make, I may take this out, push this back that way and make this my brewing area over here. Maybe that's what I'll do. Not sure yet. There's a few things I want to do, but I'm going to take care of it later. I'm going to actually call this an episode today, you guys. I have to take care of some stuff, and I'm out of time for the day. But this will go up shortly, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, I had a lot of fun working on the farm. Now let's go check on that real quick and see how much uh, sugarcane we've had since I started recording. Um, so it looks like I harvested at least once since I started recording. Which is pretty good. Um, it takes it forever to harvest, but when it does, um, we get we get a good number of it. So let's check on this. Almost fully grown everywhere. Of course, these aren't all the way grown, but it's all right. Let's check on this one. Uh, not even close. Still got a little ways to go. Come on. Yep, we still got a ways to go, but not too much more. So yeah, you guys, um, go ahead, I'm going to go ahead and leave this here, like I said. Um, the farms all turned out great. I'm really happy with how they all turned out. Well, that was really good, huh? Total ender pearl failure. Ah, I redeemed myself. Um, but I, I like how it all turned out. I think it looks good. Uh, I want to... Uh, I need to work on my farm. Oh, hey, look, spider. He made me jump. I wasn't expecting a spider in here. Hmm, did he come from a low light level? Ah, oh, he did. I thought I saw a seven. Yep, I did. But that's down there. Hmm. I don't know. I'm not too worried about it. Spiders don't spawn here much. Uh, but anyways, uh, you guys are awesome. I appreciate everybody for your support and for taking the time to watch my videos. You guys rock. I hope you enjoyed this episode and I will talk to everybody later. Take care everybody. Peace.